Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a workflow or a strategy to actually find email leads. It typically should take us about 30 seconds to a minute for each lead. So you should be able to do, you know, 30 to 50 per hour to build a list if you do it this method. Now what we're doing is we're gonna be sourcing from live vacancies, jobs that are in the market now. We're gonna get the person's contact details. We're gonna put it on this spreadsheet and then we're gonna cold email them. However, we're gonna save this list because we're always recruiting in whatever we're recruiting. And if we ever get a candidate near to that area, we can definitely spec them out and say, because these companies are always gonna be recruiting. So if we take, I don't know, let's say, uh, care assistance, not the greatest sector, and we're gonna go with Manchester. And that's gonna be our list. So if we ever get a care assistant or we have care assistants, we can later on email them out. You need to build location-based lists over time, whatever sector you're in, simply because later on you're gonna be getting candidates in those areas and you wanna just be sending them out. So you're not wasting candidates and you're not, when you get a candidate, you're not going back to the drawing board and trying to find lists. You're gonna use these all the time, yeah? This speeds up the process you wouldn't believe how well it does. So we're gonna go for care assistance in Manchester. Manchester. And we're gonna go to employers. So some of these will be small in terms of, all we'll look up. So Avery Healthcare is a large client, LinkedIn. Now this is a care home group that owns that care home specifically. Yeah, I know that. And we're gonna go to people. Notice I've put into Google, the name of the company, then LinkedIn at the end. And now we're gonna type HR. The reason we type HR first, if there's no HR, if it's a smaller company, we're gonna probably find a lot of those. I would probably look in the location as well where the vacancy is based. So I'm gonna choose a HR business partner. We'll go with Sarah for now but I didn't see anyone that stood out to me um, with that. So we'll go with Sarah and I'm gonna type in no capital letters and I'll explain why. We got Sarah and her name in capital letters. We're gonna email sequence this. So it's gonna say, I saw you're recruiting for a care assistant in you know that location and we're gonna go with Sarah obviously from that. If you put capital letters, you would look very automated. So avoid that and make sure it's not and don't copy and paste from there. Sometimes it doesn't parse in well. So again, we go with Healy Lodge residential home. This might not have um, a LinkedIn page. It might be owned by someone else. Again, this is taking me not too, too long. Uh, is this the person? I don't know. Probably not. Let's go back to the drawing board. So be cared, I care solutions, okay. That looks like a franchise to me. Again, we're gonna go to LinkedIn. Notice this isn't taking too long in terms of, I think this might go to a little profile. So they do NHS. I think this is a dom domiciliary care uh, company. Again, we'll type in HR. No HR, so that's good. I wanted to show that. We want a registered manager. So the care manager in that home could be but we could also look for operations manager. So let's just type in manager. If not, go to the owner or I would go to the home manager. Let's go with this person here, who's a care manager and email them. I could have gone to the owner, but we'll just go for Nicole for the sake of this video. Nicola, again, care assistant from there. And this list you'll go through as you go. Spinal home cares. So this is, I think, a live-in carer, obviously from the from the ad. And if you are using a lead source, you can send them this video to say, this is how I want the lead sourced. Make sure you look for HR first. Perfect, no HR. So again, I'm gonna go with owner, founder, owner, Again, none, so we'll go with manager. Manager better come up. So we've got the recruitment manager, perfect. 
and we'll click Glyn. So I always like to look at their profile. So he's been there a while. He might have um, recruitment agencies already working with, or he might do it all. Again, care assistant from there. So this took me maybe four or five minutes rambling on. Really and truly a minute per lead is not too bad. So once you've populated this list and you know, you've know you gone out to the market and whatnot, you'll have a list that is there, yeah? And you'll have care assistance. So at any point you've put an advert out or you've come across a candidate and they've said, oh, I'm looking for a care assistant position in Manchester. This is a bit of a soft list. I don't have location specific in Manchester, but you could email them out. Manchester is very large, so I might even break it down in North Manchester, East Manchester, stuff like that, different postcodes. I don't know Manchester too fantastically. I know London well, so obviously I know how far it is to get to places. You would spec in candidates. You speak to a candidate and you say, oh, I've got this position, I've got that position. You could say, look, I have relationships with a lot of companies local. I could probably find you a job. So build these lists over time. My agency is very data-based, yeah? Most agencies that are successful are database. If you don't have these lists, whatever you're recruiting for, you're a step behind. There's a difference between if a recruiter comes up with a candidate and they've got a list to email out. This list is good for six, six months maybe, maybe even more. You can go back and refresh these lists over time. Every month you can go into it. If you're outsourcing it, you can do that even better. But once you've got these lists, your agency will grow over time. You'll end up moving to a CRM. You'll get these CRMs parsed in along with the company. That's why I pay someone to actually run the data on my CRM. Because I, as soon as I get a candidate, they're emailed out to companies. Don't be recruiting the old-fashioned slow way. Where you get a candidate and now I've got to go to Indeed and spend half a day. You will lose in the long term. You will kill yourself. You're recruiting. People make recruitment so difficult. Recruitment is your matching. You have the tools and the arsenal to match candidates if you have the data. If you aren't building lists and you don't have the data, you're finished in the market. You're too slow. This isn't a market for slow place people. And you should especially be doing this, especially if you are running a temp desk. Perm, not so much. But temp, this is all based on that. Yeah, over time. So I hope you found some value in this video. It's been a short one. Sorry if I rambled on, but the point I'm trying to make in this video is have some data, please, in your agency. If you ain't got no clients or candidates, at least have some data. Yeah, all the best.